um, if I described to you what its variance was, you'd have some idea of how it spreads out across that center of mass, um, or uh, you wouldn't know exactly how it looked, but you'd have some sense. And I'm sorry I me- misspelled the word measure there, but... Uh, <laughs> I don't. I'm not sure if it does actually. The second mean. There's a second. There's the second. It's a second. Basically, one of the second means, and I don't think it does. I just find it weird that they put the mass in. You know, okay. Except for the axioms, and the measure of a set, and all of a sudden you have mass. <laughs> Where does that go from? <laughs> okay. Uh, I've heard people talk about variance uh-huh. in poker strategies. Uh-huh. Bas- basically meaning like if you have a higher variance, you're likely to win and lose larger amounts of money uh-huh. uh, with that strategy than a strategy with a lower variance. Is that the same concept? Um, so you're saying that you categorize, you categorize a strategy with a variance? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. I mean, I imagine that um, that if you're following a particular... Um, strategy, you have some sense of uh, a certain model, and that there's probably some type of variance associated with that. And what was the comment that you'd make more money? Or the idea that I've heard expressed is that a strategy with the, that gives the higher variance uh, yeah. is going to cause you to win and lose larger amounts of money at a time. I see. Uh, so what you probably oh I see. So what you probably are seeing there is is that there's this notion of an expected value. For, like I would characterize a strategy at, with an expected value on the system, and then I would say, "Oh, is this a wide distribution like, with the variance?" And I'd say, "Oh, well, that means that you could have exactly what you just said, which is I have to spend more money, or I mean, I'll, I could lose a lot more money than I would um, with this other strategy." And that's not to say that you won't, you know, you definitely won't, but or you definitely will either way. But it's more likely, or the distributions work out that way. Um, so let me just write out actually how, you, how, this, how, this, how this looks. Um, it's basically, so the expected value of, of x, that's equal to the sum over, um, let's say, you know, whatever the random variable is. Let's say that it's um, x sub 0 of, um, it's x times the probability of x, the PMF for x. Um, and basically, uh, you know, some interesting things like that are, you know, imagine your distribution function uh, looks like uh, this over here. Um, you know, uh, how would you, I guess, so we could, we could calculate this one. This is, this one is, uh, let's see, we could say that x, x0 is, um, we could we could we could do this with r sub zero. So r sub zero would be it'd be one eighth times zero or zero times one eighth plus uh, one times three eighths plus two times three eighths plus three times one eighth, and that's equal to um, uh, nine eighths, so twelve eighths, twelve eighths. Um, six. Is that right? You know, did I screw that up? Six. Oh, that's right. Nine plus three. Twelve. And that's equal to one point five, right? So um, that sticks you right here, which is what you sort of expect. But so you should be careful with this because sometimes that that uh, uh, don't think that it'll always pop you in the center. It depends on the distribution and the values. Um, so, uh, and then the variance is basically uh, the same type of thing, which is basically, uh, you know, it's, it turns out to be the expected value of x minus the expected value of x squared. Uh, and I, I don't know if we want to go through the whole, uh, I, mean, we, I guess we could. Uh, uh, let's see, Let me clean up the board a bit. So we said that the expected value of x was equal to uh, 1.5. The expected value of x minus x bar um, squared, that's the variance. And that's equal to um, the sum 
it, I mean, it actually turns out to be the case that in the, in the book you'll actually prove this that um, that it's the expected value of x um, x squared minus um, the expected value of um, the expected value of x squared, I believe, right? See, it's the yeah. expected value of x squared. Right. 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 Um, so, uh, I guess I guess the point is is that uh, uh, the the point is is that you can you know you can calculate this. I guess I probably I mean I, you just have to plug in a bunch of numbers and you can do either one of these. And uh, I guess that's all I actually really wanted to cover today. Uh, but um, today I think the focus is basically in the problem sets is doing the conditional probability in problems one point one two and one point one three, and the Problem in two is actually pretty, not that hard.